All right, Coach, uh, last season, uh, could you have written a better script uh, before the season began? No, not really. Uh, we were very pleased with what we were able to accomplish. Uh, we didn't have any injuries. We didn't have any off-the-court issues. So we had a lot of things go well for us, and we're very thankful for that. Um, tell us about your upcoming season. Uh, how can you top last season? Well, number one, we're not trying to top last season. This is a new year. We've got new players, uh, new roles, and uh, we're trying to establish a new identity with, with the, how we want to play. Um, so, you know, our goal is to win the conference championship, and, and that's been our goal since I've been here. And so we'll, we focus on the regular season championship, and uh, we'll continue to do that. Uh, Preseason schedule is a lot more difficult than it was last year, so we had some different hurdles. So, um, you know, we got to be ready early. And I think, and fortunately, we got eight guys back that should be ready early. Uh, what do you think about the conference as a whole this year? Well, I think it's going to be very balanced. Uh, I think the bottom teams last year that struggled with new coaches uh, the, at Martin and at SEMO, the, they'll both be better. And uh, Jacksonville State's going to be improved. Tennessee Tech's improved. And, I think Austin P, Moorhead State, and Eastern Illinois have been a power in this league for a while. And, uh, it'll be, a, a, again, challenging and balanced, I think. What do you think about the new tournament format and, and making Manesco Auditorium the home of the OBC tournament for the next several years? Well, I, I like the fact that we eight teams are coming to Nashville. I think uh, that's good for the kids, it's good for the coaches, and it's good for the fans. And so. I think that makes it a more of a legitimate type tournament. So I, I'm excited about that part of it. Um, we'll see how the auditorium uh, works out. Uh, but they, they've been gracious, the new court and what's going on with the locker rooms and the improvements. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how that shapes up. What do you like most about uh, this year's team? Well, our guards. We've got five guards back uh, from last year's team. and They all played and they, they're all very good. In, uh, the experience that they they have uh, is going to give us a chance to, to have a special year. Okay. What do you see as the biggest challenge for your team this season? Uh, we're replacing uh, Tony Easley and Danero Thomas, who are four-year players for us, and uh, both both all conference players. And so, um, being able to have an inside presence and just have a toughness that those guys had for us is, is, is a challenge. Is there added pressure now that the target on your back and your team with, with the success you had last year? You know, no, I, I don't think so. You know, Murray State uh, brings pressure. Uh, we, we're expected to do good. Our fans, our university has, has, has been very successful in the past, and so that comes with the, the program. Uh, I like our situation a lot better this year than it was my first year here. Uh, your team was extremely balanced last year. Can we expect more of that this season? And are there any newcomers that we can expect a lot from this year? Well, I, I think we'll be balanced again. We have four returning uh, players that average 10 points a game. And so those guys are all back. And hopefully they'll add a, a couple more points a game. But, uh, you know, I think we'll be a balanced team. We have two new post guys that have shown that uh, they, they can help us. And uh, Sean Jackson, who's a freshman from Florida, and Brandon Garrett, who's a sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. So we've got two guys that are going to have to fill the void, uh, Tony Easley leaving. And if those guys can step up and, and, and be a force, uh, then they can help our depth and help us to be good again. Uh, tell us a little bit about your schedule. Uh, your team gets to participate in the uh, prestigious 76 Classic in Anaheim as one of the marquee events this year. And then talk about some of your other non-conference games you have. Yeah, we play a tough schedule. We, we've got Ole Miss who made it to the finals of the NIT last year. And uh, early on, we play East Tennessee State. We opened up with them. They went to the NCAA tournament, and Western Kentucky is always a tough team to play. And uh, then the Anaheim Classic uh, to open up with Stanford and Anaheim uh, with a very tough field uh, gives us a, the toughest schedule since I've been here. Excellent. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks.